Hey, I'm going to uh, show you a cheap and easy way to make road packs mounts. Uh, on the internet, they're selling for about $25 a piece. I think you can make them for about $3 a piece. Um, I'm going to show you what you need material-wise and what you're going to need, uh, how to assemble them. All right. First off, you need one piece, three and three quarters inch long, three quarter round bar. And that's this solid piece of uh, round stock three quarter inch diameter cut to three and three quarters inch long. Next thing you're going to need is two two and a half inch long seven eighths inch diameter tubing. And that'll look like this. Uh, this is a piece of DOM. You don't need to use DOM. Um, it needs to be seven eighths diameter outside. Um, I'm not sure what the wall is on this. But you need two pieces, two and a half inches long. They need one piece, one and three quarter inches long, seven eighths tubing. That'll look like this. Um, just a little bit shorter, same thing as this, just a little shorter. And you'll need to drill a hole, doesn't matter really what size it is, through the side of that. Doesn't need to go all the way through, just on one side. Next, you're going to need one inch and three quarter long three eighths bolt you can get that at any hardware store that's what it looks like um, and you also need a three eighths coupler sleeve um, get them in a package of two for two dollars and fifty cent this is a hillman coupling nut is what they call it three eighths of sixteen thread you'll need uh, one of those for each of these handles you're going to make now first thing you need to do is take this coupling and put it in the short length of tubing. It uh, may slide in there easily, may be a tight fit. Um, so let me go ahead and do that. Okay, coupling is inside that piece of tubing. You also see that the flat side is in that hole window. What you're going to do is plug weld that coupling inside of that. And when you're done, it should look like this. There's plug weld right there couplings inside. On mine it's uh, almost flush with the bottom. On this one it's not quite flush. Um, so uh, the next thing you're going to need to do is take your round bar here and put a flat on one side of it. Um, doesn't need to be too much ground down. You can see what I've done here. Um, just make a little flat surface there. Then you're going to take that 3 8 inch nut and weld it to the bottom in the center of that to make the handle. Now this handle will simply screw in to this coupling uh, when it's all assembled. So take this, make a flat spot on it with a grinder, weld the nut right in the center, and that's your handle. So when you're done, I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so when you're all done, this is what you're going to end up with. You're going to end up with a short center piece, two outer pieces. This, These two outer pieces are going to fit right inside that opening. And you may want to build a jig like this to put your pieces in to hold them vertical while you weld them to your center tubing here. Uh, that's in my case, I'm going to mount it to a, a piece of inch and a half tubing. You're, you may want to just weld it to a flat piece of steel, but having a jig like this where you can put all three in there and uh, hold them vertical and evenly spaced while you weld it will probably help. So there you go. Um, again, three quarter inch round bar, some seven eighths inch outside diameter tubing, a three eighths inch bolt, and and a coupler um, right here. So that's it. Um, these are about a dollar fifty a piece, maybe dollar twenty-five. Um, so you can build this whole thing for about less than three dollars. Hope that helps.